All right, fellas, welcome back to the Two Stroke Turbo Learning Channel, <laughs> where every day we work on a fancy, fun, old car. Well, not really. This is my fancy old DKW two-stroke car. I tend to gravitate towards two-stroke cars because if it's not smoking, it's broken. No, I'm just kidding. That's my intro for today. What are we doing? So you can see we've got our stepladder up here. We're working on the restoration side of our shop. This is our bay that doesn't get used as much, but it's time. This little Subaru 360 van has a great backstory and I'm gonna tell it to you. So let's see, you can see my light blinking. I'm gonna turn that off here. Hold on a second here. Why it's blinking. Oh. Um, all right, so this Subaru 360 van, oh boy, how do I begin on this? So came from California, came from Berkeley, California. The owner apparently has owned it for a long time, has owned it longer than the registration, which is expired and covered in cobwebs. So California, 1983, it's been sitting around. Berkeley is close to the ocean, so the salt has had its way with this thing. Um, it has some damages, it's been used. So if it's been off the road since 83, it's a 69 Subaru 360. So it was in use for, oh, let's say 14 years. And the customer called me up one day and was like, would you take a look at my van? It needs some light restoration work. Well, it needs a lot of restoration work. And the problem with something like this is I never know. I just take the guy's word for it. It needed way more work. I probably should have took it in, but he was willing to wait and uh, just pay as we go, but that means things don't really happen quickly. Um, so the problem is, when the car showed up, it had a, a U-ship type of a shipping company, which isn't bad, but all the parts, because the original mechanic that he had work on at Berkeley, California, took the engine out, put the engine right here in the back, and all the nuts and bolts all the brake hardware, everything was strewn about in the car. I mean, talk about terrible storage. Um, you know, never mind the rusty bumpers, never mind the state of the car with um, rats and vermin. And I organized this. There was just piles of parts. And I know that some things have gotten lost. It makes my job really hard. And it's difficult to convey that to a customer other than when it gets to a point and I have to inventory the parts that I found laying in the car, I'm always missing something. So, oh, how do I even begin here? Let's start with, with obvious things. So I um, blasted the, the aluminum fin drums, painted them, they look great, de-rusted them, took the emergency brake cable, sent them off, had them remade at great expense, mounted the wheels and tires, blasted the rims, painted those. Those are all restoration items I can handle. But the brakes, he did a good job of having the shoes relined, the cylinders rebuilt, which is fine. But things like the hardware for the brakes were just strewn about. So there's four springs for the rear. That's good. There's only three for the front, and they're special. They have that special curve, and I can probably make something work, but it's like, ah, to find the right tension to find the right size. Um, there are three brake hoses on the car. Two were in the, in the van. One is attached to the car. One is missing. One of the e-brake equalization bars is missing and that's right or left, so that's specific. The cross tubes for the front brakes were completely broken. I had to make some. Um, this is what I found in the car. Um, these parts don't even go to the car. There are no U-joints. There's no disc brake quieting pads. It's just, I mean, it's nice that I found a muffler clamp, and it's nice I was able to dig through here, but, I mean, I'm trying to restore this for a guy, make a running car. Here's the rear view mirror, in case you need a need one. A license plate light. Oh, it, just, it just drives me crazy. So, luckily I found some stuff, but I've got to make stuff. Just these simple little brake hold down pins and the hardware that goes with them is completely gone. Luckily I found I found the pads for the brake pedal and for the clutch pedal 
And oh, look who just showed up. Look, where were you sleeping? Where were you? <laughs> so uh, it's just, it's, I'm not a magician. I try to tell people that I'm a mechanic and uh, I just can't make things appear out of nothing. So I've got to source all that stuff. It takes more time. It takes more effort and I have to charge for that. I just can't do that for free. It takes so much time. Luckily things are here like the gas tank, the gas tank support beam with the e-brake cable. Still, you can't get your nose right in here. Uh, is there. Um, and there, there are some parts, but oh my gosh. So here's my restoration work. I've made these new little crossover tubes. I've got the new wheel cylinders on. I've scrubbed the backing plates. Um, I've got the wheels, bearings, seals ready to go on. But I'm missing some key parts. Uh, the hold downs for the pins, the springs. Stella, are you being ridiculous? You're getting right in. What do you, what do you want? You can't get your nose right, Stella. Come on, come on. Go lay down, take a nap. I'm talking to the people here. So there's just a lot going on, but I'm still, whenever I think I might be able to find a part, I kind of sift through the rust on the floorboards, hoping, hoping oh, that's, I need that. I, I need these. Oh, yeah, I've been looking for those. These are the brake. Oh, oh, what are the two? I think those are the brake hold down spring things I need. It's just like that. It's like if I got to sift through the car to find things. Oh, it's just crazy. So I'm hoping some of those parts will show up. I'll just keep looking around. But it's, I don't think that's really my job. <laughs> and maybe it is. This is broken. This is our strap. It's just, uh, it's tough. Um, and then we're still going to end up with a car that needs a lot of work. Um, but it has changed hands. It's sold uh, in the process of me doing this. I don't know how that happens, but it has. Um, and I just got to, I got to get it rolling. I got to build an engine. I've got to put a fuel system in it. I've got to fix the brakes. And I can't complain. Uh, it's work, I guess. So it's just, a bit of a gripe, I guess. <laughs> I just wish, ooh, maybe there's some parts in this pocket. Nope. Oh, there's a screw down there. I might need that. Oh. No, I'm going to keep looking. <laughs> I just uh, find it... I find it aggravating and amusing at the same time. But. So let's quit complaining. Let's start searching through this thing, see if we can find those little bitty parts that I need. They're probably in here, but... I mean, where? <laughs> exactly where are those parts? Everything's missing. And they're very specific, intricate, rare little parts. But I'm going to do the best I can. All right. Thanks for listening to me kind of rant and rave about this old Subaru and about my job. <laughs> I love my job, but this sometimes is very frustrating. I'll make the best of it. Thank you for watching. Thank you for supporting me. And I hope your project is a little better organized than some of the ones that I see.